All right, Jesse on fire, welcome back to the channel. I've got a treat for you guys. A treat for you guys. So Francis Ngannou participated in a new film that you guys may have heard of. It's called Jackass. Jackass part whatever. And I am going to give, I don't usually do these like reaction videos, you know, like where you react. I've got an extended clip for you guys to watch, okay? This is... So I've seen like the short version of this, but this got sent to me that this is like the extended one. It looks like a fair number of people have watched it, but I don't think anybody's watched me watch it. And if you like this channel and you don't want to see me react to Francis Ngannou breaking a guy's testicles into a thousand pieces, then I don't know. I don't think you actually like this channel then actually, you know what? If you're watching my stuff and you're all, wait, what does he think about Paige Van Zandt's OnlyFans? Oh, geez, what does he think about this and that? Oh, dog leash story. Strickland and cancel culture. But you don't want to watch me watch Francis and to break someone's balls? I don't believe it. You're not a real fan of this channel then because that's what we're going to do today. Now, if you like the content, subscribe and ring the bell. I have another treat to tell you guys, okay? So we have a sponsored ad today, right? I'm going to read you guys an ad. Not yet. Not yet, but here's the thing. Since it's the like inaugural video that has like a sponsored portion of it, I'm gonna tell you in advance. I'm not just gonna do ad reads, okay? That's not what I'm gonna do. I'm not just doing ad reads. Hello, at, at Men's Warehouse, you can pick up a new suit and you can show your lady that you know how to dress with class. No, 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 no. I'm gonna make them awesome, okay? I'm gonna take the script that they gave me I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. Just gonna spice it up. So you wait to see who my sponsor is and you're gonna laugh because it's perfect. And then I'm gonna read their ad script and I'll spice it up a little bit for you guys. Now, let's jump into this thing. So, in case you guys were not clear, Francis Ngannou is the hardest puncher in the history of the UFC. Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In the history of the world, okay? They've measured it. No one has ever punched anything harder than Francis Ngannou. I have actually entertained this idea a million times. I'm, I'm kind of proud of the jackass guys for thinking of this. It's like, would you let Francis punch you barefisted directly in the face with no, nothing, like, like you just have to eat it, dude. Like, like this, teeth out. Like, hit me right in the teeth and the, and the nose for $1 million. Would you do it? I'm not sure I could, I'm, I like, I can't get myself to a place where I let him shatter my teeth and nose, man. Like, but these guys were like, what if he punched you directly in the balls? <laughs> this is okay. Fair warning. I actually have watched this clip and I, I like the, the way I thought of this video was I watched this clip and I was actually like crying. I was laughing so hard. Like I was laughing so hard. I cried and I was like, I should probably do a video where I watch it again. Like I just sh shut it off. I was like, I don't want anyone to see like. I don't want to get this too burned into my mind because I don't want to like remember all of it. I want them to experience with me. So right after I read you this ad, we are going to watch that clip and you guys are going to die laughing. Now guess who my sponsor is. Ready? Guess. Guess in the comments before I even read this because it's IP Vanish. You guys may have remembered uh, a video I did yesterday where IP Vanish would be nice for you. You know, it'd be a good thing for you to have unless you want the tech oligarchs looking at you creeping on people's OnlyFans, you little creep. So, did you know that browsing online data using on incognito mode? Good start. <laughs> using incognito using incognito mode doesn't actually protect your privacy. That's right. Without added security, you might as well just give away your private data to hackers, advertisers, your ISP to other prying eyes like your wife, you know, you little creep. Uh, that's why I use IP Vanish VPN to make it easy to stay truly private and secure on the internet. I actually really do use this. Just for the record, I do use this. I'm not allowed to say why, but I do use it. Uh, IP Vanish helps you safely browse the internet by encrypting 100% of your data. This means your private details, passwords, communications, browsing history, and more will be completely shielded from falling into the wrong hands. See, look at who reads like that. I'm reading this because it's true. Even your physical location will be hidden. IP Vanish makes you virtually invisible online. It's that simple. You can use IP Vanish on unlimited devices without sacrificing on speed, your computers, tablets, phones, even devices like your Fire Stick when you're streaming media. Whether I'm at home or in public, I don't go online anymore without using IP Vanish. 
if you're streaming media, like it said, in case you're streaming media, like it said. Uh, IP Vanish is offering an incredible 70% off their yearly plan for our listeners, viewers, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And that's just like getting nine months for free. You would have never figured that out. And that's because you don't know anything about math, dude. If I asked you what two times five is, you wouldn't be able to answer it. But I just gave you the math on that. It is nine months for free. IP Vanish. I use this. I actually really do use this. And what's crazy is I used this before they wanted to give me money to read their ad. So you should use it, but don't do it unless you uh, go to ipvanish.com backslash Jesse and use promotional code J-E-S-S-E and claim your 70% savings. That's ipvanish.com backslash Jesse. It's super easy to use. All you have to do is tap the button and you're instantly protected. You won't even know it's on. That's true. But you know who will know it's on? Any creeps trying to steal your data. Stop sharing with the world everything you stream, everything you search for, and everything you buy. Take your privacy back today with the brand rated 4.6 out of 5 on Trustpilot. Get on it. IPVanish.com backslash Jesse. Woo! That's how you read an ad, son. Now, go do it. What was I doing? Okay, let's watch this clip, son. Woo! Go! Boom! That's not a lightweight. What are you guys talking about? What stuff? Just set him up. I just Googled the hardest punch ever recorded. His punch is the equivalent of being hit by a Ford Escort at top speed. I'm a UFC fan, so I heard Francis Ngannou was going to be there, and I was like, I want to do it, please, please. And then later I found out, in fact, I didn't want to do it. I think these people, they are crazy, bro. doing a cup test with you. Yeah. This lightweight is going to punch you in the cup. Is that all right? He was surprised. <laughs> I mean, you could just see on his face like, damn. But everything was there, and uh, he couldn't go back anymore. <laughs> but I think these people were that crazy. <laughs> Bro. You lied to me. I meant heavyweight, but lightweight came out. Johnny Knoxville is going to live to be a thousand years old. It's like intimidation. You know oh. that the guy gonna hit you in the nuts and you see him hit the back and you know, <laughs> so like that is kind of like torturing. I just Googled the hardest punch ever recorded. His punch oh. is the equivalent of being hit by a Ford Escort at top speed. Why well, you don't need to read that now. <laughs> I hit full force. I mean, I was nervous though. I'm like, what's gonna happen? What can happen? The first time, he moved. Then, then I'm like, oh, he didn't get hit in the nut. I had to do it the second time. <laughs> I never hit somebody in the nut. He took him back. He survived, though. Did you know about Jackass before this? It's like he got shot Nina. with a gun, dude. Like, I heard about it. Like, uh, <laughs> His whole entire body. Maybe a little over like... a month ago, and then I looked it up. It was oh, fun. Oh, God, it's so good, But I didn't dude. know. Like, at first, I, did, I didn't know that he was, like, real. <laughs> he literally, like, goes straight and up rigamortis. I thought I was going to so go like, there, like, like pretend, seasons. like, hitting him or something. Now I'm like, no, we don't pretend. Oh, yet. my God, show it again. <laughs> That's so How good, How was man. he down for it? He was all red. Like, you can't see the blood flow over his head, everything. <laughs> but before I left... Oh. Man. He was up there talking. Now I'm like, oh my god, I'm crying. Oh no, did he really have a nut? <laughs> he waited until the fourth theatrical release to become a real star. <laughs> oh man, why is that so funny, dude? What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Oh my God, dude, his whole body is like, he looks like he got turned into a wax sculpture. Like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh my God, man. That is so funny, dude. 
It's like... I can't, I can't, I can't shake it. I can't shake his face, dude. It's like, <laughs> it's like a person interpreting the most horrifying pain ever. Like, <laughs> oh my God, that is so fucking funny. <laughs> uh, I can't, <laughs> I can't get that image out of my head, dude. Oh my God, that is so fucking funny, dude. I, I literally can't think about his face after he gets a bunch of fucking crying laughing, dude. <laughs> oh, God, that's so good, dude. That is so good. Is that movie out? I don't even know if that movie's out. Oh, my God. That is so fucking funny, dude. That is so fucking funny. His, his face. This is not a thing. Like, I got nothing, man. There's no way I can make this video funnier than just that, dude. Just rewind it over and over. Just watch that over and over. <laughs> watch his entire body just seize it. Look at his face, man. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this or I'm look like a fucking lunatic, dude. It's not that funny, dude. I know. I can't get the image of his face out of my head, man. Oh, my God. That's so funny. That is so funny. I can't think. I can't think now because that is so fucking funny, man. Anyway, I'm going to go see that movie. I got nothing. I got nothing. And there isn't. I'm gonna, you know what? Would you rather let Francis punch you in the balls with your cup on or punch you in the mouth and teeth? I'm taking the nuts, man. A hundred percent. I don't want like. I know how hard it, how much it hurts getting kicked in the balls, but like. You'll recover like your nose and teeth. They'll shatter into a million pieces, dude. You'll never look the same. You'll have all fake teeth. They'll fucking break every tooth in your face. His fist is as big as my head. I mean, it's the same as being like, hey, dude, will you stand still while a giant sw takes a bowling ball and puts it in the end of a fucking pillowcase like, like, you know, full metal jacket like they do with the soap, the soap bars and the, and the end of a sock? Except you do it with a bowling ball, and then you have, like, Shaq swing it at you and hit you in the face with it. That's what it's like getting punched by Francis Ngannou. I'll take that shot in the balls, not the fucking face, man. What is on my face? I'm not refilming this, okay? If there was something on my face this whole video, I'm going to be so disappointed in myself. But I don't care. His face, man. That's what I got. Love you guys. Peace.